Hey, it's Natasha from YML Homeschool, and I'm here to review Life of Fred Butterflies. My girls and I, my six and seven year old and myself, just finished this book, and so I wanted to give you a peek inside it and tell you my thoughts on it. So I'll first tell you that this book has 19 chapters, and so we did this in 19 days. We did one chapter a day. You can see the table of contents in the front. And how this works is each day there is a chapter to read. It's a story. If you're not familiar with Life of Fred, there is a story, and it's a few pages long. And then at the end, it has a Your Turn to Play. And those are questions for you to answer. Sorry, that got really dark because I blocked the light. <laughs> and sorry about my glare on my glasses, but anyway. Um, so the your turn to play is questions that you ask your children based on what you just read. And so this book, I will say that we really enjoyed it. Now, one of the best parts of it for us was some worksheets that are from a, um, Facebook group, Life of Fred Homeschoolers, and there is a page in their files uh, for each chapter of the Life of Fred Butterflies. So we use those every night, and I think those were an excellent addition to the Life of Fred. Now, I will say we enjoyed most of this book. It does have some um, hints of God and Christianity, which is great for me. I love that, but just to throw that out there for you. Now, I will say the only chapter that I didn't like, that I thought was really strange, and I don't even know why it was included, it's chapter 16, and it really had nothing to do with the rest of the story. Um, it was almost like he was trying to figure out what to write. I don't know. It was really weird, and it had this, um, it talks about um, Alice's adventures in Wonderland and Moby Dick and Don Quixote, and then it says, um, only last week Fred learned something that shocked him. On the deeper level, Alice had nothing to do with tea parties. Moby had nothing to do with whale hunting. Quixote had nothing to do with being a knight. For adult readers, Moby Dick is much more than just a big whale. And I was like, mm. and it has a little asterisk next to it. And then down here it says, Moby Dick can represent, for example, the malignancy of oppressive feelings of self-alienation that can only be exercised by engaging in self-destructive acts. Okay, I just still, like, there's a connotation there, even though it has this little thing here. And I was so shocked by it. Um, so there was that. Um, now, the author, um, Stanley Schmidt, he definitely has a sense of humor. And if you read his, like, beginning, it tells about, like, his views on homeschooling. And anyways, um, he's definitely has a sense of humor. And so I know that's why that was thrown in. But I was so shocked for, about that connotation that was throw it in there. Um, I will also say that the beginning had a lot to do with butterflies, but like the second half of the book had nothing to do with butterflies. I will also say that in this book, people die. Um, two brothers die. And so I just tell you that because if you have a sensitive child, they might not like that very much. Um, I'm not too sure my girls even picked up on the fact that they died, but uh, they did. So, anyways, I've heard from other people that this isn't as good as some of the other books, and we really enjoy apples, and um, I'll try cats, the next book, and see about that, but I was a little bit shocked by that. So, overall, we did really enjoy it. We really enjoyed the worksheets. Um, this is a wonderful, you know, engaging way to do math, but I was a little bit shocked about both the death deaths and that Moby Dick thing and also I will say something else that bothered me which is maybe weird is that Fred the character never eats and it talks a lot about him not eating in this book and he's five and so I don't want my six and seven year olds to get the idea that it's okay to not eat and so that was another weird thing so anyway those are just some things to consider if you're thinking about Life of Fred. Um, and maybe I'm thinking too much into this. Maybe this doesn't bother other people. But the not eating 
the Moby Dick connotation and the deaths did bother me a bit. So, um, but we did enjoy it other than that. It was just those three things. And I think the story could be absolutely fine without those three things included. So if I were to do this again, I mean, I could just skip over those, but um, I don't know why those had to be added because I think this is wonderful without those. So it wasn't like it added something to the book. All right, so there's my review. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.